There we go, we are back, finally, I hope for the last one time. Minute to match start. There we go, you just heard the referee, one minute till match start. Fingers crossed that is going to be alright for this one. And, uh, and yeah, we are ready for 40 minutes of lane smash. With all the, lead, the delay, 40 min two rounds of 40 minutes will be uh, insanely long, so we'll be playing only one round. So a bit of a uh, of a um, of a tweak here uh, on the rules, but we don't really mind. That's still a training. That's all right. Uh, it seems that it is finally the case, ladies and gentlemen. The match is about to start as the sun is uh, setting. Is that setting? Nine, eight, on seven, six, five, four, three. Two, one, go. And there we go. The timer should be running. Yes, it is quite smoothly so far. As all the ESF are leaving their warp gate, there is. You have finally some sound on Windows from Planet Side. A galaxy from uh, PTSD heading straight, it seems, to the vehicle terminal here of Genudine. As for the VS, they have a couple of sites very, very early on. We have a drop here from uh, an iOS member, PSB1025 uh, uh, here, dropping directly next to the spawn room. Will be spawn camping the, the vehicle terminal, but without a Sandy um, exiting that terminal here. A lot of hair. For the TR here, has one of the burning actually uh, got taken down. So, ready for now. That's a that's a fight in the air to who will control the air will in the end control the base. All those nanites have been quite safe for quite a long time already. So every players are at. 750 nanites each as on the point nobody yet to cap the point seems that TR are in a quite favorable uh, position here they still they have a sunrise we do have a couple of uh, VS onto the point or next to the point though one VS is down was uh, maybe was it was it an infield probably Running with uh, the emissary right there, but you have to take down those under right onto the point. We have the finally the armor colon that will arrive from um, from the VS, which might meet the armor colon from the TR. Yes, there is the prolos her sitting right there. Three prolos from the TR required. Um, timid prowlers, we have a fourth one here. No one really onto the flank. As on the air, still uh, a small battle. Um, quite a few more sight, I would say. More sight compared uh, to the number of mossies. As I got puck on TeamSpeak, so let's have a look. Yeah, so that was just some info from one of the referee saying that we we were we had started the the match um let's i don't have the timer there we go so now we have the timer two minutes and 42 seconds remaining till the tr or till one of the team are capping the uh, base so right now that's the tr still in control well well alive with uh, with dash sender right onto the point there is a another one coming in uh i believe that all the senders got taken out by um by the vs one sneaky migrated you don't see the has of that prowler one prowler you got the ap uh, right onto it wow one prowler is down so far maybe a second one a sneak shot So that's two migrators. One pro is very aggressive here. One migrator is burning. If he could stay alive, that would be great. The second pro is coming uh, to help here. 
One Maggie, he's down. Three Prolo still alive. One iOS Maggie is uh, in very dire situation. One v three. One is burning. Would be great. One Prolo is down. It's two v one here. You have the help from your Sandra. One minute and thirty one seconds here remaining into the base. iOS still looking to uh, to move inside the base with some Sandras and with some infantry. There we go, the infantry here. Carlito, one of uh, of the member of my team. He's actually dead, unfortunately. So he was alive <laughs> and crouching. Uh, very difficult to attack that position here. You m would want to have some hair above you. Couple of sides coming in. You have a galaxy for the TR protecting all around. And... The most efficient weapon on the um, here is uh, one bulldog with a the other one being a pelter. Is that pelter of uh, or uh, the Yenes? Not quite sure. The gal is down though, so a good operation uh, from the VS here. The VS contesting the points. Few members are still alive. No, oh, they will be killed. Unfortunately, too much TR right onto the point. Still missing some strong move from the VS to really take that base. 29 seconds. We don't really see a big gal coming in. We only have Libs, Scythe and whatever. Uh, no beacons onto the points for the VS. So very difficult to really contest that base. So the base should go for PTSD here. Or oh, maybe we have a gal from... The VS, will it be enough? Three seconds before we cap. Can we keep the contest alive? No, too much TR right onto the point. PTSD will cap the first base. Shooter Skyway goes TR. A bit... Um, yeah, a bit sad for the VS. Not much progress right there onto the point. Not much uh, of a big contest. The gal drop, unfortunately, wasn't really enough. And now... Even though we still have the control, that's really difficult to kill all those TR. We don't really have that much spam here on uh, the air side. Maybe, yeah, that might be the tank buster here. So, yeah, very difficult to get some kills here. Then we Not like we have a PPA or, or whatever. And unfortunately, the control still belongs to the TR. TR are looking to make their move. On to Scarfield Ray, Chris. There was one people alive. Kalito, there he is. My boy. My man. Right there. Playing here for the VS. As we have the... Yeah, there he is. We... There was one Sandra sneaking in. And I thought it was destroyed. It wasn't really the case. That was a sneaky sender right onto the base where you can actually deploy even on live you can use those tactics and they are quite efficient bit of lag here but uh, right now we are looking to consolidate the position on the tr side not getting uh, um too eager to attack scarfield reliquaries because if you attack too soon you might get trapped and um and the VS will just uh, counter-attack onto Shrouded Skyway, so quite a... It is a passive choice, but it is one of the safest choices that TR could actually make in order to keep Shrouded Skyway. We finally have one PPA, which will be a nightmare for the TR in order to stay alive onto the point. Pretty much everyone is dead. One medic is going to res everyone here onto the point. The res got denied, one got accepted. Finally, all the tier will be cleaned up. Do we still have the center? No, the center got destroyed. So that might be a good opportunity for the VS in order to capture back a bit that base. We have a good center here from Bomi. Bomi babysitting that center real good. As we don't really see that much hair right now. Let's have a look on the warp gate. Yeah, a lot of moss is coming in for the TR. 
there is not much re yeah, an answer here from the VS3 side against five mossies at least. So that might be difficult, even though we, we've seen how the VS have the upper hand right now onto the air and the focus fire is really, really great. Three sight on one mossy, one mossy is down, zero sight have died so far in the engagement. There, there is one, that's a one for one team fight here on the air. Has, we in, have yet to have a, con a contest from the VS here onto the points. It's a couple of people being alive, some infantry gameplay, but right now it seems that we have too much bodies onto the point for um, for the TR. Carlito, my man, got a kill, I believe. He got that kill on the TR light assault. We finally have VS presence here onto the base, finally. Makel, one of the team captain, the team captain of uh, iOS here, I believe, um, is running for that little bridges. So two bridges right now from the TR in order to access that point. But what is going on? Is that is is there any kind of bank cap? Because it seems that VS can't quite cap the base on through the skyway. There is a lot of TR on Scarfield Rakeries, and now. There is some quite dire situation. We do have the control of the portal through the skyway, but the TR are delaying that control by being onto the point on Scarfield Rakeries. So good is a good thing here by the TR thing allowing some pressure. You always see those kind of small pushes in order to just secure the preview space, secure through the skyway here by uh, attacking scaffolding crows even though you are going to get wiped strictly wiped but that's a small pushes forcing some uh, force some forces to go back on the previous base waste some nanites waste waste some time and it will uh, win you some time here because right now we have the tr being really really, really strong on defense we do have some beacons coming here and there but Will it be enough? We do have one PPA harasser here. We do have one site PPA as well. So definitely the control of the air goes for the VS here, which is a good point for them capturing that base because they will be able to mow down all those TRs. There we go. Big push from the VS. They finally got the cap um, of the points. Now they just have to hold it for 3 minutes and 30 seconds. Oh, good infantry play here, good push. Right, uh, uh, watch out, because from low ground we do have some uh, uh, a small push from 4 people, but look at that hair, 2 fights, PPA, plus some couple of in infantry. That will be a nightmare in order to repush. PTSD is down, unfortunately. Infantry push is dead. You might need to get some more air and now since you have the control of the air You don't have the control of the ground anymore because your tank your your tank will be Destroyed here that some hornet shots on that prowler. The prowler is as good as dead. Watch out for the air sir. It's running some ranger here it Can be a new uh, annoyance for the ESF, not really a threat, big threat, because there is too much ESF. One site is actually burning, would be taken down by the Ranger. But look at that spawn kill, the PPA on the harasser. The anti-vehicle harasser here running the Albert. And now we have that good of a, of a setup with some spawn kill vehicle here for the VS. So very difficult to bring some more cheese on the base of through the skyway speaking of cheese we are maybe a small mistake by the vs they kept that vehicle uh, vehicle terminal alive allowing that surrender that sender to be pulled and i believe that sender is looking for a place to deploy you might be able to deploy right there but looking to escape a bit Ooh, there we go and we'll be deploying it's not sneaky sender because he is, uh, yeah, he, he has already been spotted. Double on tire, double ranger here. Uh, you want to 
frightening a bit the um, the ESF with some flak here. But look, what can that Sandra do? He doesn't have any anti-vehicle setup. Yeah, infantry got, just got sniped, I believe, by, Cal by Carlito. And yeah, pre the Sandy is as good as dead. We'll be allowing some redeploy from the from the TR. The TR might, from that Sandy, get to that Sandy here. And we'll be able to destroy, even though it will take some time because that's the shield Sandra. I'm quite amazed that Sandra is not dead yet. Yes, there is one halberd into the ass and will be uh, the demise of that Sander uh, IRS harasser running on the roof. Not optimum, to be honest. As it seems that the TR are really struggling right now to repush right onto the point. Too much infantry, too much PPA scythe here. Uh, really a mess in order to control. But we do have the air control back for the TR. Four Moses against a couple of Scythes. Are the Scythes PPA? I believe they are. Yes, they are. So definitely the Moses have the upper hand here on the air. Yeah, there we go. But look at the base right now. That's That Air Force is a bit too late and we have iOS looking forward to cap that base, six seconds remaining. Watch out for the guild drop. Might be too late though, because three minutes, two, s yeah, two seconds, yeah, a bit too late here. The guild drop was on point, unfortunately. Couple, I would say, two to three seconds too late, unfortunately. So that would be one point for iOS, tying the score one to one here in this round. Forty, uh, twenty-four minutes remaining here, and. Good thing is that by capping that point, we denied the the fact that we have uh, we could have had a pre-cap here, even though everything got managed with a good push on uh, of infantry here onto the point. Uh, I'm running and see, so I can't quite see the composition of the platoon. Uh, it seems that there is a uh, at least eight eight and eight people in infantry. On the TR side, uh, we might have a bit more, but uh, but yeah, in general, you want to have, yeah, kind of uh, eight and maybe six people in infantry, and then the rest you want to have either air and vehicle guy. Solo RSs, combo RSs are really really good if you if you have a crew like at least two crew f of RSs, they can be real. Pain in the ass for every vehicle coming in. A Valkyrie here, first time we are seeing a Valkyrie from a the VS. I believe they. Uh, what gun are they running? Yeah, the Pelter. Maybe there is a gentleman uh, agreement between the team captains. There is no Max yet, and they might have been banned by the team captains. Not quite sure, and um, and yeah, no Casar and Cas fourteen Valkyrie here would be a dream for the VS, a nightmare for the TR. TR looking to uh, to attack that point. They have ten seconds to to really push that point. We will see if there any kind of a attempt of a backup here on Genudine. Um, not quite sure. Yes, we do have Makol here. There is a TR nearby Makol, so you have to pay attention. One medic is coming in. Makol is definitely a capable dude, but in 1v2 might not be enough. One medic versus one medic. Yes, we do have more people onto the point from iOS here. Back capping attempt successful here for the VS. Switching the points a bit. For that faction, we do have a Sundra because there is a lot of infantry coming in. Where is that Sundra? He's right there. Very, very sneaky um, Sandy here. A good setup already. And now that just might be just a nightmare for the TR to, in order to really stop that aggressivity from the VS. Yeah, already in the triple stack building. 
pretty more pretty much everyone is dead we do have some medics but the rest bit coming a bit too late that's a brawl here on to the triple stack building Kalito in CQC looking to get some kills on the bolts there we go get the double kill get the triple Kalito please that's basically a meme for my boy And now that might be a nightmare for the for the TR harasser PPA in the sky. We don't have that much mosses. Maybe we have an air force coming in and regrouping on the Hondium um, base. So far, not really the case. And yeah, we are set set upping the base uh, with. Oh. I'm inside the base. A bit too much inside. Come on. Oh. Okay. Uh, I'm too much inside the base. Point. And there we go. Look at Mako. Sneaky, sneaky bitch here. Um, where is that squad beacon? Squad beacon, they are not really used to get like a very... Just strong to clarify, spawn option exactly that's a very fragile spawn uh but efficient enough for the rest of the team to come back into uh, to come back on the previous base 15 seconds timer so you have to aim a bit i would say that you have to redeploy 25 seconds before the actual end of the base on game design but you have to to take one or two people off that base because now we have a good drop by the TR from the air but look at that PPA mowing down the TR we have a second wave here a bit like the zombies in a tower defense coming back in for the second wave but yeah pretty much got annihilated by the VS here one minute remaining the gal huge 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 investment by the TR one is down, the seconds looking to be down as well. Couple of drops back. We are uh, not quite alive onto the point, unfortunately, for the TR. VS is still in control. We have a beacon though for the TR. Res grenade coming. A bit of a waste here for the res grenade. Maybe got a couple of res here, but the, the most important fact is that we had a beacon. So one TR is still alive on to the point. 35 seconds remain. And yet yeah, seems to be that VSR still in control. One Aras is trying to get inside the base. Unfortunately, it will not be enough for the TR as it will be taken down by the VS, by the thighs. The infantry pushing from uh, from the inside of the building but it's really difficult vs in a very defensive position here right onto that balcony thingy and it's just a nightmare to uh, come back onto the point for the tr and i believe that there is already a precap attempt uh, but a early defense maybe from the tr yes makel is down makel is the one handling any precap here And, uh, and yeah, that will be one back cap denied for the TR. But yes, we are looking to get the second point. Kalito, my man, he is here and alive. And look at all that VS coming inside the base. Kalito looking for some angles here and there. EMP, Kong's grenades, double Kong's grenades. <laughs> and yeah, that might be really difficult to push from there. For the VS side, maybe with some good bolt action here, uh, taking down a couple of TR, but the, the pressure is here, they are weighted all inside the corridor. We might have a bit of a flank from coming from that angle on the minimap. Yeah, there you go, Carlito with one kill, opening the possibilities here for the VS to push. There is no TR. Alive one TR is yeah, it will be <laughs> will be bolt 
by Carlito. One TK, good double TK. That might be an RSA exploding inside the base, unfortunately, for the RSA as the VS looking to uh, to go on to, onto the point and try to cap that point. Mikel in the front line, leading the charge. Couple of TR back, contesting the point, but there is more to VS than there is TR. And your reinforcements coming in. One TR has been left alive! Down to the pilot. We will have the kill. Big repush from the TR. That's the main entrance that the TR will take. And the VS knows it's the main entrance. Look at that. Look at that placement inside the building. Couple of conks. That might be the way to go for the TR. C4 right into the middle. There is a couple of players here to C4, but no one to really push the button of the trigger. And that's still VS really much in control of that room. A bit of aggressivity here on the res. Kong's grenade might be might be the go. Here, Mako leading the charge, taking a couple of uh, members. I feel like it was a double kill here for Mako. And there we have it. Strong performance right now from the VS. Oh, cheeky res. Mekel still with the kills. Mekel leading the charge. Will be they will be taken down. There is few TRs. So if the VS decided to, to push in one go, they should be able to, to rerun on those TRs. But yet they decide to to stay back. Stay passive a bit. Farm a bit. We do have a lot of kills here, Carlito, my man, leading, leading the number of kills. As the TR just break through, no, not much resources left for the for the VS. They might have the infantry terminal. They are, they are actually a battle right there for the for the vehicle to, for the infantry terminal, which will be a act by Carlito, allowing the VS to take back some. Sweet, sweet, sweet grenade, some Kong's grenade, EMPs, some medkits to stay alive. We do need medkits. And we are back on the offensive. Carlito bolting onto that corridor. Just a nightmare for anyone trying to repush a bit. Oh my god, they are getting mowed down. Right now, I do believe that everyone is inside the base. We do have a couple of libs and thighs landed, but right now, a heavy focus is on defending or attacking that base. Very difficult here for the TR to, to try and repush. There is a couple of ways to go back inside the point. Right now, uh, onto the infantry terminal or coming from the garage on that elevator thingy. But 30 seconds still cap. Pretty much everyone is inside those corridor. TR looking to push a bit. They were, they were in that situation before. But, oh my god, look, that conk will be insane. Everyone is slowed down. Second conk, not much aggressivity from the VS. There it is coming in. Couple of, a good rest from the TR, allowing everyone to come back alive. But look at that positioning from the VS. Very well scattered around that room. Allowing basically a lot of crossfire from the TR, trying to push in. 
a bit of a flank here will be watch and we have we do have the final cap here on Kwati Mountain Complex 11 minutes remaining into the round has now VS looking to get the hands on the Kwati um, station already Mako contesting the point soon to be contesting the point I believe that he was taking out there is Sandy allowing everyone to come inside the base oh my god every TR is not prepared for the for the bus that Makels brings along and we do have a back cap on the Kwati arm station really difficult to to come and back cap that's that arm station the travel time from the previous base is really really long you have to take that route not the it is the most obvious run and you have with some GSD centers to come inside the point should have been defended should have been some Sanders right there blocking the entrance now we do have one Sander from the TR allowing everyone to a bit of uh, breathing room on the TR will be taken down unfortunately we are uh, trying to rush from the SEU we do I believe that we do have some elevators yes we do have some elevators right at the back so it is a quite a safe route that for the TR to take uh, from the SEU we can still take the route from the exterior which seems to be uh, the route of choice uh, for the TR right now in order to come try and come back inside the main building but they they take refuge inside the SEU which is suboptimum uh, to have taken from the outside you just take the, the elevator they take the tunnels uh, from inside the points but right now it seems that all the centers are getting cleared up and uh, we might have a hold from um, we might have a hold from the um, from the TR on the VS attack yes there is pretty much a hold both the uh, vehicle terminal will be destroyed one be will might be repaired no it will be it will get destroyed by uh, by the TR not safe enough to keep that thing alive will allow the VS to pull centers and centers and centers inside the base and just flood the, um, the base of a center that's the way you will attack some um, some um, station at least the boring ones where you have one single point inside the main building which are the most boring home station because you are sitting inside the building for six minutes and here it seems that the VS I've chosen the the hard path but maybe the quickest one to take that arm station because you could still hack and hold the the generators for a couple of minutes wait for the generators to get destroyed and yeah right now they are just looking to get those thunderers inside just keep keep them a bit alive but they are just coming one by one very tricky to keep them alive they're not really manned they they are cobalt thunderers but not manned thunderers so the the damage output from the sir the the thunderers are is basically no Please remember not to pull vehicles from bases that are not in play means you cannot pull from West Pass. As we did had a, a small call from uh, from the referee, you are not allowed to pull. I believe that you are allowed to pull a um, vehicle from your warp gate. Um, but yeah, here the TR are pretty much screwed because to take Use harassers anti-vehicle option they have nowhere to except for the web gate to take some some vehicles you have the the air pad here 
But <laughs> that's all. You can still this Look at that. The iPad is getting farmed. Small beacons here in order to uh, come back at a strange angle via still in control, well in control of that building here. As the SCU is accessible, only a lonely infiltrator to contest. It, it is really your choice. Do you want to go for the SCU or do you want to keep the point? And right now it seems that VS decided to all right, we're gonna commit a couple of guys to the SCU. But uh, the defense is here. Big, big, big defense from the TR right onto the SCU. And yeah, that might be the way VS will be capping that base is by holding onto the point. Even though they just got... No, no, it was just someone contesting the point, yes, I believe. That 51. Oh my god. Oh my god. Good res grenade. Everyone mid HP. No more Sunder or Harasser to really destroy you, but you are only mid HP. Look at all those VS getting those kills. Farming onto the res. Good res grenade once again. You have to take it. You have to get the chance to take down a couple of VS, take down a couple of medics, make the VS use resources, use med kits in order to stay alive. Otherwise, that's just a nightmare. Two minutes remaining till the base is camp. We do have an opening here on the left hand side of that point. TR coming in strong here with a good wipe but there is still a couple of infantry right on to the point there is two infantry actually one got taking down that was the last medic i believe for the vs right on to the point and that will be a defense four minutes remaining we do have some more gsd harasser coming in gsd sanders even coming in back into the base will they hold long enough for the VS, to, for the TR, for the VS, sorry, to uh, come back right into the base. It seems that from the left hand side, once again, we do have a little bit of a push. Lakel, Makel leading the charge. Once again, a medic, medic denying the fact that uh, someone is staying alive by killing him. Makel still here, will be taken down, unfortunately. Good res grenade from VS, you have to take it. Unfortunately, yes, uh, might not be enough for the VS. They will need to allow uh, to uh, to get more resources right onto the point in order to stay alive. More Sanders with some repairs, with some blockade, or you could just deploy Sandra right into the base, get from the SEU because the SEU is still open, so that's an opening still. The SCU will close in approximately one minute. Right there, that door will close when the timer hit three minutes. The middle part. As we do uh, overload the shield. Oh my god, that's Sandra. You have the SCU still open. 40 seconds still, the SCU is closed. Yes, the door is open. Everyone, guys, for the VS, it's time. Float the door. And destroy those TR. Quick intel. He should have been more patient, I would say. Uh, not killing that TR. No TR. Yeah, he's pretty much strapped. Um, SEU is critical. We are past the middle point of the cap. And yeah, the SEU is closed. As you will be uh, stabilized, but in the meantime, that was some a bit of a mind game here as the VSR coming back right onto the point. A bit of a struggle to pass through the shields here, but what a, we're talking about cheese. There we go. You have some cheese, some harasser right onto the point. Still no max into this match. I believe that they were banned from 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 the teams. So yeah, finally, final attempt for the the VS. I believe they don't 
really have the time to cap that base and the TR don't really have the time to fully roll back the timer of Quati uh, Arm Station and they don't have time to attack Quati Mountain Just Complex. Uh, I believe remaining. that it is one minute remaining and unfortunately for the TR we will not be playing a second round right after it and the final score will be 3 to 1 iOS takes down PTSD. Final minutes, final seconds even. TR still well in control. Couple of VS still alive. Everyone still have the will to fight. Which is a good point. A good mindset to have. A 10 seconds left. There we go. Six, five, four, ten final three, seconds. Two, one. Round end. And there we go, that was it. Um, Round IOS ends. Is, iOS is in the lead with uh, three points and PTSD has one. And I do believe that uh, the referee will say that we are not going to do a second round. That was GG. Obviously, well played by both teams. We did see VS struggling a bit. Another continent and then come back. On, uh, we did see the VS struggling a bit on the um, on the first cap on um, Scarf, uh, not not Scarfield, but um, uh, should Skyway. Uh, the cap go through for the TR, but at the instance, but they were the VS were only missing. Um, they were only missing spam and a PPA and and some more anti-infantry uh, options. When they got rid of the sky uh, and s those scythe were able to uh, to come back with some PPA and wipe the infantry uh, from the TR, the infantry from the VS could access the point and they struggle a bit allowing the TR to get the first cap Good but then match, they guys. just wins three to one. They just, yeah, roll on the lane after it. But a uh, good fight from the TR. Um, I believe, yeah, don't really have the final confirmation from the referee. But, um, mm -hmm. but yeah, I uh, don't think we have a second round. User joined your channel. Who joined my channel? Hello. Hello. Hello and welcome. Uh, I am uh, the air guy for PTSD. I'm not the main leader. That is Glyn. Okay. Uh, thank you. The, does he want to come? I wasn't really planning on doing an in interview. Oh, uh, okay. But uh, yeah, we we could. I uh, don't really have that much question to you. It's that's still a practice. And, uh, uh, and yeah, I feel like uh, it was a good match at the beginning. Then you struggle a bit especially on the air you you wear the air guide uh you wear the air guy sorry so uh yeah well, could you tell us a bit more about the matchup in the air because yeah via struggle a bit to really take the upper hand but at some point they really had it and they were allowed to pull to pull some ppa size yeah uh so from the beginning they pulled in uh, mass air and uh, now this wasn't what we were expecting what we were uh, planning for was a lot of ground uh, stuff. Yeah. Um, so this caught us by surprise. Um, then we tried to take the air superiority and we failed. And I think it was that initial ball that really got them, really solidified it for them. Um, from then User on, they had channel. a lot of size User around. Your channel. And it was very difficult to take it back. Uh, even when they... Uh, and also I felt that they were pulling size out of their asses. I don't know where they got those size because um, some, sometimes like uh, we we would pull in our wave and we see, okay, right, there's two, three sides and then suddenly there's five. <laughs> uh, their response time is very, very good on pulling yeah. those size out once we start pulling our own. User joined your channel. So, 
Um, I'm, no, yeah. I'm not quite sure about how they really did it. They might have some secret routes to be unspotted. Uh, we might, yeah, we, we do have some uh, some iOS members here. Hello, Michael, well done on right. that victory. Uh, it was only one round, but for 40 minutes round are long enough. And <laughs> with all the delay, that's uh, it is getting pretty late. So yeah, we were talking a little bit about the air and how iOS was really quick to answer the pressure from the air of TR and PTSD. So how was the? Um, uh, you were mainly an infantry guy, Michaels, but you do have some intel about how your hair performed and how they were so efficient. Yeah, so in the opening, we said uh, we need to win air control for, for the neutral base, because it's a very open base. Um, so, so we started off, I think, with like 14 ESFs. Um, yeah, and later on we uh, wrote that back to five ESFs and one Liberator for the rest of the round. Yeah, did, did really you feel... Me. Yeah, go ahead. Benny, you, you were talking? Uh, I said it really worked for you. Well done. <laughs> yeah, thank you. You yeah. too, GG, you yeah, Ben. Channel. And the GG. rest is no other here from your team, right? Uh, I think... Do, 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 do. Glenn, Glenn, Glenn yeah. was leading the infantry. I'll poke him. Okay. Yeah. Uh, tell me if if he's available. He might. Did he just disconnect? Yeah, he did. Uh, I'm gonna poke oh, no, him. He's, he's, uh, he's just swapping waiting inf uh, interview. Yeah, but he is permissions. up in the match two channel. Yeah. I think I need to give him interview, and yeah. now he can join the channel. Yes. There we go. But but yeah, a small question to to Michael. Uh, did you uh, did you thought uh, at some point? All right, we fucked up our uh, our opening. We didn't really get the cap. Uh, our, your guard drop was one second too late. Not enough people in it. Too much TR onto the point. Uh, you were only missing real spam with uh, missing those PPAs, arresters, PPA scythe. So did you really thought like oh we might we had too much size? And too much uh, anti anti hair so it's not really anti ground. Um, no, what what I think uh, we we had uh, some some uh, PPA and we had some sites with um, I think uh, photon pots. Yep. So the capability was there, but shrouded skyway is a base with lots of trees, so air to ground is not super effective for the A point, and their cobalt buses were pretty much really effective yeah. and the thing that shit us on us in the opening was uh, they had three prowlers or maybe even four yes. these prowlers they played really passively around the L shape and they disappeared from my minimap I thought they were killed so I said let's push for point and then we moved our vehicles inside the base and then these prowlers just randomly showed up in our anus and that is <laughs> not so not such a happy experience so yeah yeah, but at one point three, you were your main ball of ESF took down uh, took down all the the TR uh, mosquitoes, and at some point just snowball on that point, allowing some more uh, spawn kill option. You were the one, Michael, um, uh, pre capping every base uh, with yeah. some uh, beacons. I believe some Sunderers uh, as well, especially on Genudine. Uh, there was one sneaky Sunderer. Uh, where you were coming from, and I believe it was uh, put here quite a long time ago. So yes. very well played on those uh, pre-cap. Yeah, it is. It was really sneaky, and I was like, how those all those VS coming from from that center? So well played on the timing of the pre-cap, and um, yeah, arm station. You don't really expect to cap them. They are. They are really horrible bases, six minutes inside the buildings, just like, what the fuck. And, uh, but, uh, but yeah, still you, you bring the timer to one minute, I believe, one minute, one, two minutes, uh, tail cap. So that was really well played, but, uh, yeah, not, uh, enough sustainability to, uh, to keep your Sunderers alive and, um, and safe inside that, um, that building. Uh, of the airpoints. Yeah, we were hoping yep. for that one moment where they would be out of nanites so that the C4 spam would finally...
stop, but they didn't <laughs> stop. Yeah, um, I so believe they didn't they stop were... because they were not able to pull to pull vehicle anymore. So there was yeah. some free nanites coming in there. Um, yeah, that... Small question to um, to you, PTSD. You were a bit surprised by the by the uh, the early attack from Makel onto the Um Station. How could you have uh, defend the Um Station uh, uh, better? Oh well, there's a bunch of things we could have done. First of all, GG. Um, well played. Um, you too, guys. We we should have blown those vehicle terminals up. It wasn't the original planning sheet, but obviously at some point or other someone wrecked them. Um, <laughs> yay! Um, and we should have pulled some more people back to be defending that. But we thought we'd actually managed to get onto the point, <laughs> as you always do. So yeah. people started redeploying back out again. What you guys did really well on that uh, M station defense was uh, we kept our air and most of our uh, ground vehicles around to, um, you know, give you a barrier between the building and the spawn room. Uh, and then you, you quickly switched over to using the tunnels. Uh, so our air and, uh, and ground vehicles were 12 useless players uh, at that point when you started using the tunnels. And then you quickly killed all our vehicles and grabbed the point back. So that was... That was good. Well, it's, it's painful learning from another practice match. <laughs> sometimes there are certain bases where you can discourse a lot of air to feel like it's not doing anything. Yeah, exactly. That's true. Like, for example, the mountain one, we just said, every person who is right now in a vehicle, get out your vehicle, get inside the caves, because it's no use of being outside in an ESF. Yeah. Especially, yeah, inside that mountain, uh, I think I, I said it on stream, pretty much everyone was inside that base. There is no point running um, in in a Sandra or but maybe for the VS because they were attacking. But for the defending side, uh, every member really needed to be inside the base, defending that base and um, and maybe at least setting the defense uh maybe on onto the home station for example blocking the ways the, the the main main entrance with some sunrise could have been a good a good option uh but uh, yeah you real you really train on how to defend to defend her home station from an attack because you that's not always the the, the main plane main plan uh, so um, so yeah you overestimate how many nanites we had at that point and the ability to yeah, probably yeah, yeah, probably it's true. It's true that at the end, by the end of the of the match, we didn't really saw that much vehicle from you. Um, but from Quatim Mountain Complex, you might have wasted a lot. I, I would say wasted because in the end, uh, the end result was VS capping the base. But um, it was a lot more harder for VS since you wasted a lot of a res grenade, maybe conks. But the pushes were not a as sharp as the, the pushes from a VSP too long, maybe too telegraphed and uh, and maybe too obvious coming from different angle could have been good. But uh, I I do believe that the defense from the VS was strong enough for all the pushes to be come back, uh, to be pushed back the from, uh, from. I mean, the VS yeah. infantry skill is yeah. very impressive. I mean, we had quite a few times where we were genuinely having to make sure there was two on one fights to just take a point. So whenever we sent three guys for a back cap, and you sent three guys, we knew what the result was. Yeah, we've seen a small of a back cap onto Scarfield Ray Chris when you you had a um, shooter Skyway. You had quite a lot of infantry at that point, but uh, yeah, it was just a couple of VS coming here and there uh, from different angles, and then suddenly on Scarfield Ray Chris, you don't have a back cap anymore, and VS are back in control of the point on Shooter Skyway. But we did see that uh, 2v1 situation. On, when Makel was uh, trying to, to back up on Genudine, where you had one heavy, one medic coming uh, to face Makel right onto the point. Makel trade with the heavy, uh, but there was one VS coming in because there was a Sandy so close behind. So, yeah, don't worry. Uh, so, yeah, I would say GG. Unfortunate that we had that much delay uh, for, for that match, so we could have had uh, the, that second round, but uh, still, on the first round, you did amazingly well for both teams, especially PTSD. I wasn't really expecting you to cap that base and VS struggling that much at the beginning, but you did good. Unfortunately, VS was a bit stronger 
in the end allowing that result 3-1. Thank you guys, GG. Thanks for streaming. GG and well done on that error. Thank you, I'll, I'll tell the guys, uh, Ben. Yeah, uh, those air, those pilots were pretty impressive as well, individually as well. Yeah, like, that's the, the, the thing that I like so much about 187 as an outfit. We have players that are really good at infantry, but they, usually they do a secondary role as well. Ah, cool. Uh, who were the I'm pilots? Here. Or perhaps this isn't the... the this isn't uh, for IT page time. Oh, we can chill on your team speak after if you want. Yeah, sure. So yeah, thank you very much, uh, gentlemen. And uh, that I think that would be the end for the stream and for the interview. Thank you very much. And GG once again. And see you PTSD into the tournament. Not iOS, but PTSD at, uh, at least. Yeah, I will actually play for them. Um, oh, great. For PTSD. Yeah. Yeah. Great, some uh, sneaky make all strats coming yes. in for PTSD. So so yeah, PTSD, good luck on to the tournament. I'm sure we will see you uh, soon enough on the on the stream. So so thank you very much, uh, gentlemen, and uh, see you later. Bye bye. Thank you for casting, Eddie. Bye okay. bye. Bye bye. Thanks for the refs as well. One honorable mention that I'd like to do to a Spitfire though. So there was one <laughs> Spitfire and he kept out like two Sanders yeah, so out of that amp station. I really wasn't able to get uh, to get into that um, amp station because I just struggled for ten seconds on that Spitfire. <laughs> Disconnected. Yeah, that was the last honor uh, honorable mention to that last Spitfire uh, who blocked a couple of Sunderers uh, to uh, enter that um, to enter uh, the main amp station. The timer is back on line, which is strange, uh, but yeah. Uh, it is still a great to. Uh, it was a, still a great match, and uh, and yeah, uh, thank you very much, guys, for watching, for sticking with me um, to the end. It was a bit short for as a match. We I believe that we had more delay than we had actual match, but uh, still that was pretty good. So thank you very much, and definitely stay tuned to planet side battles because we are coming back with more lane smash tomorrow and even the the, the week after bye, bye stay tuned for more planet side cheers